I'm doing a little video, a little vlog on my little journey up north. So this is, I'm going to film this one. We're not north. We're not <laughs> right. Okay. That's uh, well. It's it's north to me. So here it is. It is um, September the 9th and I am off what is going to be a three days worth of Les Mills events today. I'm driving to Leeds from Andover. Uh, for a double quarterly workshop. We're staying over in Sheffield, got um, two more tomorrow in Sheffield, and then one in York before driving back. And then I'm staying at home Sunday night, and then I'm off to Wales for um, an LME, just past Cardiff, which is, uh, which is gonna be three sessions. Whew, it's, gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a lot of driving, gonna be a lot of traveling. The routes are being calculated. Please. Uh, I found it difficult to leave Kelly and Link. Um, we just enjoy our weekends, you know. So uh, it is what it is. But um, I'm going to make the most of it anyway and look forward to spending some time with them uh, in the week. And then it's Link's birthday next week. So that's cool. Got all that to look forward to. Got to keep that balance, eh? So um, this is actually gonna be the third time I've stopped uh, on the way up here to Leeds. I've been driving or been traveling now for about three hours, got about an hour to go. Um, this is quite a common thing really for me. So I'm just gonna grab some food here. I'm a little bit early actually. ETA is like quarter past 12, don't have to be there until about one. So probably gonna sit in here, grab, grab, a, grab a bite to eat. Well, should have been about a four hour journey. It took five and a half hours to get here in the end. Um, and always set off early. I always set off early, give myself at least an hour. Well, I've arrived with 20 minutes to go, so good job I did. Sat and I've let me down, missed the turning, had to take a massive gamble through some country lanes, squeezing through little gaps to get in, but we made it. So five hours, um, first one, got a body, body attack workshop, then a combat one at David Lloyd in Leeds. First session done, um, body attack. Nice to get moving after a five hour car journey. See you later guys. So we got combat in a bit. Gonna meet Hannah now, used to work with me at Reasons as a PT. She's now living up in Leeds. So she's coming here, we're gonna catch up for a coffee. Good first day. Um, I just had some dinner at the David Lloyd because it's good food there. Nice burger, with some uh, sweet potato fries. A coffee latte takeaway, watch the end of the Man U game on TV. And that's a 45 minute drive to Sheffield to my travel lodge. So, typical kind of evening when you're out doing a double day or on a module or a quarterly workshop. Um, it's spent kind of getting some food and then chilling out, uh, maybe grabbing yourself a drink in this case. Um, I'm going to do some work. I'm going to crack on my laptop, do some work here um, in like the Travel Lodge bar. You know, they've always got the, the pub attached to them. Um, and then in here again for breakfast, as you can see, it's absolutely buzzing in here. It's pretty much what it's like. Trainers all around the country probably having the same experience right now. Um, that's what we do, that's how it goes now. So, all packed up and ready to go, slept really well. Bed's actually really good in Tribal Lodge. Same amount of kit but I can't fit it all in my bag. I don't know why, I don't know how. How does that even happen? Get some breakfast and then to the gym, which is five minutes away, two sessions in the morning and then one after lunch.
first um, session done, body attack session, real good one. Um, great energy, great group in Ponds Forge in Sheffield. So changing now into body combat attire, slight wardrobe malfunction in the fact that I haven't got another body attack top. So later on when I go to York, I'm going to have to wear this one again. These things happen a lot. I'm not the only person that has this problem. journey up north. So this is, I'm going to film this one. We're not north. We're not that far. Right. Okay, that's, uh, well, it's, it's north to me anyway. After three, so pull a combat style pose. Either an elbow. I do an elbow. God. You could, do, you could do like a ground and pound elbow. All right. Yeah, pull guard. All right. Three, two, one. Booyah. Oh, I'm recording, so <laughs> Sunday, parking, five hours, multi-story car park, this little bad boy here, 17 pounds, 17 pounds. My ETA or my sat-nav has been flicking from half one, which is when I should arrive, to half three, which is not good because that's way after the session starts. <laughs> session starts at 20 past two. And there's, um, and I sort of zoomed out on the sat nav to find that there was uh, an accident on there on one particular road that's actually adding six miles stationary traffic. So I zoomed out on the sat nav and um, used my initiative to reroute myself manually, which we have to be able to do. We rely so heavily on sat navs to get to places but actually sometimes you just got to use your common sense and map read figure it out because it's not always going to be right um, so hopefully you know, famous last words but hopefully this will prove to work and I will avoid the accident because that will really be a massive problem okay so final uh, stop David Lloyd in York that was like an hour and a quarter in the car legs are seized up now well and truly. Ankle is sore. Um, sprained it, I think, yesterday. Um, but we push on. Last one. Body attack at David Lloyd, New York. There it is. Let's go. Another David Lloyd. They're always nice. So, uh, 40 minutes, and then we go um, for the final session. Just bumped into Shay outside. She's having a bit of trub trouble with travel today as well. Um, so it's gonna be tight for her. I hope she catches her train. She's on train today. Um, That's what it's like, you know? It's the point. It's not just me, it's everybody. Well, I absolutely loved it today. Um, it's been really exciting. It's the first time I feel like I've been thrown in properly as a trainer, um, having to do what these guys, you know, my teammates do all of the time, traveling around and figuring out their accommodation and their, 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 their travel, connecting trains, cars, flights, all that. Um, and yeah, it's been really cool. Definitely, definitely missed Kelly, missed Link. Um, 
keen to get back. It's going to take me four and a half hours to drive back now. Really great people in that last group. They were the smallest uh, group of the, of the whole weekend. Um, but yeah, I mean, sometimes a Sunday afternoon is a tough crowd. It sometimes can be, you know, you're, you're preventing them from having their family time potentially. Um, and they're coming here, you know, if they feel like they have to. But this group, they just throw themselves in. Loved their vibe and it really made it a nice end to, to the weekend session. So I'm going to get showered with the towel that I stole from the travel lodge, don't tell anyone. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to head home in the car. This was that vest that I had to clean in the sink, um, but it's done now, we're all done. So tomorrow is the LME, I'm going home now to spend the night at home before you know traveling to Wales Monday daytime to go hit that one. Cool. So there we have it, all fresh and all clean, ready to go home. I'm currently stretching on the car before I get in the car for four and a half to five hours. Another stop, another coffee, another two hours to go. Well, there we go. I'm home. I only stopped once. I managed to contain myself, keep disciplined and keep moving. My little boy is asleep in the bedroom just there. And I'm gonna see Kelly, my wife now. And we've got a couple of hours where we can chill out, watch a couple of episodes of The Americans, and uh, catch up over the weekend. Driving to Port Talbot in Wales and leaving the family again um, on zero miles on my fuel gauge. So I need to stop and get some fuel first. Left myself two and three quarter hours to get there, so providing that nothing happens, we'll be fine. Caution toll gate ahead. Hell of a drive that one, no stops on the way, straight in, 10 minutes to spare, right by the coast, look at that, right by the coast. It's raining, it's windy, it's like proper valleys, Wales, this one. But nice place, look, nice place. Let's make magic. First session at the LME done, bunch of sweaty clothes, body attack, 30 minute version. First time I've ever done that 30 minute version. It was really cool. Guys in the class really enjoyed it and worked really hard, so they've never done it before, most of them, so that's cool. And now we've got body pump on with Justin, and then it'll be body combat and then grit. Oh, so the whole point of these LME sessions from Les Mills UK for people to find out what it's like to become an instructor, a Les Mills instructor. So we showcase the classes, like shortened versions, half an hour, 45 minute versions of the classes, and then we do a presentation. We explain what Les Mills is all about, we explain how it all started, we explain the culture, the philosophy, and then we explain what the paths are that you can take um, and offer discounts on training. And it's a really cool thing. I've done like, what, five of these now. And it's come to the point now where I've seen people in quarterly workshops that I've seen at an LME, they've then booked on, done their module and turned up at a quarterly workshop and it's come full circle and that's pretty cool. But it can really be a pivotal experience for people because their lives can completely change. You know, become an instructor, it's an amazing thing and it really does change the direction of your life and it makes your face go red when you teach classes. <laughs> So, I'm here with Chris. Hiya, okay. Chris, introduce yourself, buddy. Okay, so I'm Chris, I'm one of the managers here at Amber Avenue Leisure and Fitness Centre, it's part of Celtic Leisure. Uh, just done a brilliant grit strength class. Uh, really enjoyed it, it was tough, sweating a lot, as you can see. 
Um, yeah, so just have a little look at the gym. Yeah, so I pulled Chris over to the side here because um, personally we get to travel around to lots of different places and also being gym owner. This I think is, as a leisure centre, it definitely has a very, very unique feel. You're definitely taking the member's best interest into consideration. You mentioned that the catering downstairs, they don't do chips, Not at all, no, no junk food. I mean, most no. leisure centres, you go downstairs and everything falls to pieces. You've got chicken nuggets, chips and microwave shit. Um, here, yeah. you guys are doing pancakes. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, the, the plan is, so we, we try and practice what we preach. You know, we don't just sell memberships. We get the guys doing consultations where they're talking about what to eat. And you go downstairs, as you, as you said, we don't sell chips. We don't do chicken nuggets, any of that stuff you normally expect to find. We do protein pancakes. We do jacket potatoes, healthy, healthy alternatives. Um, and then we do a supplement range, ready to drink, so you get your protein shakes straight, made for you, straight out of the gym. Wow. Uh, we've got smoothies, so it's just all about healthy living. You guys are doing a really, really good job. What seems like a quiet part of the, of the UK, but you guys are, I mean, this could be anywhere. This could be London, Central, this could be Manchester, this could be anywhere. This is top, I think this is top class, what you're doing here. So yeah, it's, it's great to hear. Thanks and so uh, much, yeah. you've got the Les Mills classes, you've got virtual. Yep. Uh, it's all going on at the moment. As you, I'll just spin around. As you can see, you've got virtual classes going on in here. We've been in the studio over here doing the classes today, and the gym itself is looking pretty good. I mean, there's hammer strength and plates. Oh, you've got, strength, yeah, you've got great kit. Stuff. We've got Jacob's ladders, Amazing. walk bikes, uh, top of the range kit. So, yeah, it's good. Well, it's a good place you're to be. definitely setting the bar high for all the leisure centres. So, um, I'm really glad we've had this chat. Yeah, great. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks so much. Thanks Thanks Cheers. Cheers. So, um, Two and a half hour drive home. It's half past eight now. Had a shower, freshened up and I'm on the road. Now, for me personally, as a trainer for Les Mills, this last sort of weekend effort um, for you know a good few weeks, perhaps even months, a lot of these guys, my teammates, they're cracking out weekends like this every single week and it just goes, goes on behind the scenes, you know, no one necessarily sees this they just see the you know the action shots or or the footage on Instagram or whatever but actually this is what we do this is how it goes down for us we spend a lot of time prepping and traveling and everything else in between and we do it because we absolutely love it I mean those guys there today in the LME some of them there are going to go on to become instructors we're going to see those instructors on module training we're going to see those instructors at courtly workshops at Les Mills Lives and it just goes full circle. I've been teaching now, well I started 10 years ago. My auntie sent me a DVD or a CD, Body Combat 30, watch this. You're gonna do this when you come to New Zealand. Next thing I know I'm over there and I'm working in Les Mills New Lynn in Auckland. I've got my own combat class every week and I'm absolutely loving it. You know, that journey went full circle right to the lowest part of the journey where I had to quit. I was forced to quit through conflict of interest. The leisure center that I was teaching at in my local town kicked me out because um, I have my own business, PT business. And, um, you know, uh, I set up my gym, focused for four years on business, and then when we extended the gym into the studio, it was time for me to dust off my kit again. And here I am, you know, two and a half years later, I'm, I'm out here in Port Talbot in Wales delivering an LME with Justin Riley and Tori Willard. So I'm loving it. It's great. It's a great addition to what I do. I believe fully in the company, in their values, in the way that they're doing their thing. I'm all about fitness, motivation and positivity. This aligns with me, especially for fitness, quite happily fly the flag, quite happily represent and feel very very lucky and privileged to be in this team. Um, I love my, my, my role here, my teammates are excellent, they're all awesome. I love bouncing ideas off them, meeting up with them and catching up every few months and yeah, it's a real good place to be and every instructor coming in, giving their all, giving their energy, we do it for you and we do it for the people in your class because it has a knock-on effect to their lives as well. That's what it's all about. Let's never forget that. I'm home. Half past 11. Done. Three days. Hundreds of miles. Thousands of calories. And yeah, here we go. Gonna have a good sleep and get back to work on the gym, my coaching business, and get ready for the next event, Les Mills UK, until we meet again. Good night. <laughs> now it's filming. Now it's filming. Look at us look again. Look at where it's going down. It's a lovely studio, lovely people. We're gonna do body combat now. And, uh, and then we're going to do this um, presentation.
God. There he is. <laughs> so I'm off. Setting off, leaving the north. I felt like a Game of Thrones.